Welcome back to the 2020 Macabre of the Four. If you're a horror fan, then make sure you subscribe and keep checking back all month long for an onslaught of horror movie reviews. Today's review is for Alleluia, a Belgian horror film from director Fabrice Duvels. <laughs> The film is inspired by the real-life Lonely Hearts Killers, pretty loosely you could say. It's definitely not making any attempt to tell the actual story of the Lonely Hearts Killers. The country, the time period, the people, and events, they're all different. But the film does center around a romantically involved couple who committed a series of murders. If you're looking to see the true story told, there are other film tellings that you can check out. This is not that. I've also reviewed this director's first film, Calvaire, as part of a previous year's Macabre Month of Horror. You can check the iCard or the description for a link to that video if you want to check it out. I liked Calvera a whole lot, and it was a film that really stuck with me after watching. I still find myself thinking about Calvair from time to time, even three years later. I haven't rewatched it yet, but there are a handful of scenes that I can still picture with perfect clarity in my head. So of course when I stumbled across Alleluia and realized it was from the same director a decade later, I had to check it out. <laughs> Having seen two of his films now, I can confidently say that I really like this director's style, and I plan on checking out more of his films. He has a couple of those that I haven't seen yet. He works well with modest budgets, and he has a great sense for stylish visuals. The cinematography of these two films is extremely varied, even within each individual film. The style adapts to suit the scene at hand. In both Calvaire and Alleluia, there are moments that push into surreal and border on experimental. And those are by far my favorite moments in both films. There aren't too many of those moments in Alleluia, but when they do pop up, they're great. There are two of these moments in particular that are the highlight of the film for me. And they bumped up my score a bit, actually. One involving a dance around a fire, and another that I don't even know how to describe. It involves, like upside down faces contorting. I don't know how else to explain it. That's what makes it a great creepy visual, I guess. I would love to see this guy deliver an entire film fully rooted in experimental filmmaking, but I'm sure that would make his films even more niche than they already are. The acting is quite good as well. Lola Dunez and Laurent Lucas play the two leads and they both do excellent jobs. Laurent Lucas was the same star as in Calvaire. And Fabrice Duvels also co-wrote both scripts with the same guy, Romain Prota. So there's a lot of overlap. There's also a little girl in the cast who's like a tiny Viola Davis. She's a real scene stealer. Always nice to see a strong performance from a young actor. So it's pretty clear that I like the direction and look of Alleluia a whole lot. But unfortunately, the script is a big step down from the other elements. It's not bad. It's just nothing special. It's an extremely simple, straightforward story. The plot doesn't have any of the mindfuck elements present in Calvaire, and it doesn't really throw any twists in the path of our protagonists. <laughs> The simplicity of the plot really holds the film back. It's a fairly standard, generic kind of horror movie script, elevated through excellent filmmaking. The film goes to considerable lengths to humanize each victim before they are killed, but because of this, the film's structure is full of repetition. There aren't very many kills in actuality, so it avoids becoming too repetitious. But much of the middle of the film feels like the same 20 minutes on repeat. There is something interesting about building up each victim as though they're going to be a fully-fledged character, but we know exactly what will end up happening. It doesn't work as subversion if that was the intent. And when the kills do happen, they never feel surprising. It feels like we're just waiting for the inevitable to happen. It's only a matter of time. 
The kills are well executed though, especially the last one. The final section of the film is excellent. The final act really ties everything together, and it's actually the reason why I can fully recommend the film, whereas the rest of the film preceding it wasn't anything to write home about. This final act is great. It's lots of moving parts, gruesomely real violence, interesting character work, sound design, visuals. It's all a huge step up from the rest of the film, and it ends it on a high note. It makes it feel like the rest of the film is worth all the build-up to get to this. If you aren't feeling too connected or engaged around the middle of the film, stick with it, and the finale might win you over. I wouldn't recommend Alleluia as highly as Calvair, but it still gets a solid recommendation in the end. So check out Calvair and check out Alleluia this Halloween season. Subscribe to the channel and keep checking back all month long for more horror content. Thanks for watching. Bye.